So today, today we're going to um, escape and work on solutions, technical difficulties. We are going to show you how to unlock the bootloader and flash a custom ROM as quick as possible. So here I have the uh, Pixel 7 Pro and uh, it is on stock, stock firmware. I'm not sure if you can see this clearly enough, but the first things that you have to do are to go to uh, unlock your bootloader. So you go to build number, which is under about phone, and you tap that about five times, five or six. Then we go back to system. Also, the, uh, developer options. Yeah. <clears throat> and you can do this even if you're not going to, you know, root your phone, unlock the bootloader. It gives you extra capabilities. Mm -hmm. But uh, he here is my unlock bootloader. And we have advanced reboot. Not really necessary. But mainly we turn on ADB USB debugging. Okay, so... If Not you had a uh, screen, if you if you had screen copy going, you could have your phone showing on the screen of your laptop. Yeah, this when you when you uh when you unlock the bootloader, it factory resets. So I'm just gonna go straight uh, into that. Let me hit uh start screen sharing. So you can see my screen right now, buddy. I, I sure can. Crisp and clear and ultra 4K. <laughs> okay, so here we have, and I've created a couple of uh links for instance we have download the latest you know one plus drivers <clears throat> you can grab them right here and i'll put these links in the uh in the youtube um but i always already have the driver let me see if i can install it real quick um wait first explain what it is you're doing well i'm unlocking the bootloader so i can flash custom uh firmware or any kind of images for that matter. Um, Onto there is the OnePlus? Right, right. And I already have the, the OnePlus driver, so I'm just gonna skip this um, part for time's sake. Mm -hmm. um, but up up here, and um, the, the one thing that's unique about the OnePlus is all the way up to the OnePlus 9 Pro, is that you can literally um, reset, or you know, factory reset. No, it's not factory reset, it's actually like uh, unbricking firmware, you know, firmware reload. Yeah. But uh, this, this MSM download tool is basically useful because you can um, reboot into um, EDL mode. Yeah. Emergency download mode. And I'll just show that real quick, even though we don't have enough time to, to do a complete factory we, uh, reset. We Okay, so uh, maybe in a different video I can show you how to how to do the. Let's see, unless I can real quick go here and. If you're gonna have a device, it's always good to have a folder with everything for that device. <laughs> right. Root it, mod it. Okay, so this is what the MSM download tool looks like. Um, I would basically. This is this isn't part of unlocking the bootloader, but for people that break their phone, soft bricked it, whatever, they can literally my OnePlus Seven Pro folder, uh, um, reboot to EDL mode, emergency yeah. download mode, and over here I actually have like a couple of uh, a couple of all-in-one tools. So if you don't know like ADB commands, then you can just use these. I'm gonna go over here and say OnePlus Seven Pro tool. I mean device and in here it says that I currently have it's asking for me to authorize yeah so on my phone it's saying maybe I can show that real quick let me turn off the screen share on my phone it's asking me to say always allow from this computer and then if I go back to screen share you can see if I if I hit check you see yeah. you see the ADB device is loaded so here we yeah. have unlock bootloader lock bootloader reboot system reboot recovery bootloader reboot EDL um a whole bunch of cool things like install well, drivers so if you're selling like your uh custom modded uh um phones that you like hook up and everything what are you gonna lock the bootloader so they can't like change it <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Well, the benefit, uh, some devices, the bootloader can be relocked, so nobody can get back into them. Like after, especially yeah. for like the Pixel 6 Pro, um, the the best feature, <laughs> the, the one unique thing about the, the Pixel line is that you can easily relock the bootloader after flashing a custom ROM. And not many devices can do that. Yeah. Uh, but I'm actually going to do this the old fashioned way. So I have the platform tools. I'm um, showing you real quick a website, and I'll put this in the link. But this is the SDK, SDK platform. platform tools. Yeah. Right. You can Are you download. Gonna what you're going to do it by ADB commands within the uh, the console? Yeah. So I basically have this folder, and uh, what I do with this folder is uh, I've already extracted it from from the uh, zip. But with this folder, the best way to do this so you don't have to type in a whole bunch of extra commands every time is to go to your C drive and I've already put it in here. You see this platform tools here. Yeah. So I, I put it in my C drive and then I go here and I quickly do path and it says edit the system environment variables. And this is where I would click on environmental variables and uh, under path, which I've already done, I hit add new and then <coughs> browse and when i browse i go to my c drive which i've already done it it looks like and then i would yeah. just select that platform tools and add it here to my my uh, environment variables so the the whole the whole windows system knows exactly where it's at so which means that when i just go to you see how this is taking me this link is taking me directly to c drive yeah uh, Actually, it's not. So what I need to do is I need to go in there and create a link from. So, yeah, I'm just going to put this platform tools on my desktop. So now we have it on my desktop. <clears throat> well, that'll be a shorter path. You know, to type out. Yeah. So now when I hold down shift and say open PowerShell. Now the path is just C drive platform tools and I can. I can actually just go here and say uh, ADB devices. I don't have to do the, if you don't add that to variables, then you have to hit like dot slash. You remember that, right? ADB. Yep. Yep. So since it knows where it's at, I can just go ADB devices. And it's going to kill the I old. You got to do the same uh, when you're um, when you're trying to take an SD card and you want the device to adopt the portion of it as internal storage you got it right, right yeah well something cool about this is that you can also do like adb um, commands to list all the apps on your phone and mm -hmm. to remove them name by name like even if you're not rooted this is a perfect way to debloat your device also you can simply go adb install and then space let me bring these out here and i can just go here and grab one of these uh, APKs and uh, like say if I want Film Plus, like in the future, if Google starts blocking our ability to um, install, we can simply just sideload them like this. Performing hey, streamed install. I, I didn't see the Virtual Scape Studio app in that list of APKs, man. <laughs> yeah, you guys got You got to put a link to that, man, below our video. Yeah. All right. All right. So I successfully installed an app to that was a, the phone. That was a shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. I don't mind. Amen. It actually doesn't even matter because these this uh, technical difficulties is an app exclusive uh, video podcast anyway. So <laughs> there's no reason, there's no reason to do any plugs because the only people watching this are the people that are in the virtual escape app community. <laughs> true. 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 Four year yeah, eventually, yeah, eventually I'm going to try to to get a Wilco Solutions. But back on track, I also yep. found, so besides uh, this all-in-one toolbox, I located this Android tools. See up here in the corner? Mm -hmm. We got Android tools, and it looks like this. You can push or pull. You can back up the whole NAND uh, drive um, devices list. There's my device. We can Wait, do, hold on. Is the Android doing the whole 
<laughs> I think yeah, this show is a band, man. Yeah, he plays a lot of video games. <laughs> but here you can here you can get the device serial number. Uh, you can do shell console. So this is kind of cool. These are people that have actually went out and uh, developed the ability to to like have all your tools in one spot. All the fast boot for recovery, boot system, data cache. You can flash all that stuff. Um, extra tools. Hey, this might. Hey, actually, this is pretty cool, bro. I'm gonna have to send you a copy of this for your phone. Look at this. This is all the um, commands for, uh, for um, like customizing or like you know maintaining your device just by clicking these. You can uninstall. Mm -hmm. You can uninstall apps that only can be disabled within the OS. But here, you would just select. Yeah, look at that. I hit refresh, and now look, well, look what we're looking at. We're looking at all the user apps refresh here's all the system apps so i can get rid of if i didn't want chrome boom as easy as that and you because you, you know otherwise this is just going to disable and you can't delete anything but i can literally t get it get rid of any app that i don't want that came bloated <clears throat> like you and me we both have good devices that aren't full of bloatware but for people out there with samsung's or you know motorola whatever they got yeah um, they can force close Here's getting, some extra tools. Getting the, getting the phones from Walmart and stuff and getting like yeah crazy uh, apps or Amazon. Yeah, or Amazon Alexa or something. I'm like, come on, man, really? I can't I can't uninstall. There's yeah. my device model name. So we have that one. We have all in one tool, tools all in one, Android tools. And then some guy, uh, some developer created these uh these just quick little I'll close these down. Like check uh ADB devices. Uh, reboot to bootloader, check fast boot devices, flash patched for when you're rooting, flash twerp. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. And then this one, pulling information, Android device system information. I haven't messed around with this one yet, but, uh, and then this is kind of like off topic, but I found this media tech, uh, for when I like start my business and, uh, and start doing like more difficult things like IMEI repairs and stuff. Mm -hmm. This right here has this right here can like back up IMEIs, restore IMEIs, change them. You got Android tools like for FRP bypass, you know, where people are by devices that are locked out. AKA found found on the <clears throat> found on the bench at the 24 Hour Fitness. <laughs> Sounds very similar to some of the tools that Andre and I used when um, in LA when we were flashing phones, the different services and stuff. Right. Okay. So real quick. But that was years ago when Android like first came out. So I'm sure the yeah was. Yeah, you actually have to. True. True. Yeah, you actually have to have these uh, Qualcomm drivers for going into EDL mode. If I, I'm not going to do it now, but if I rebooted into EDL mode, it's actually connected directly to the Qualcomm chip Ooh. at like the lowest level. And you got to have special drivers. Kind of just running through that. You know, down the road, we can always make uh, more in-depth reviews and instructional videos. But for now, yeah, for sure. let's go back. Let's go back and I'll just do the... So which one do you think I should do? Should I just go ADB reboot? bootloader or should i try one of these well i don't know what it is you're trying to do right now so i'm simply just rebooting to the bootloader do it do it in the uh the console yeah because if anybody else wants to they can just go and i'll put the links down here for like uh here's the all-in-one that i'm currently using you see it on this website and yeah. the threads everything i'm getting is from uh, xda.com Wonderful Just place. For... Anything anyone gets about Android is from XDA. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like that's your go to place. Not uh not Android now there's some there's some on like AndroidTips.com or something. They always say, Yeah, this is how you root your Samsung. But no, nah, they're they're just trying to get ads. They're just like making yeah. stuff up. But ADB reboot bootloader. So I am going to try to capture this by um, I guess hitting, I'm going to get this over here set up so I can get ready to take off screen share. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to stop the screen share 
and then show uh, what this looks like. So can you see my phone? Yeah, you might have to angle it slightly towards your screen. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so I'm hitting enter on the ADB bootloader. Now my phone, my phone is rebooting into bootloader. Uh, fast boot is actually what it's called. Fast boot mode. You see the little yeah. start. Okay, so now I probably should have put this up in a. <laughs> so now we're up going to tripod. All right, so now we're going to type um, OEM unlock fast boot. I'll, I'll go ahead and screen share one more time. Okay, so we have fast boot OEM unlock, and there's different commands for different phones, but this one's OEM unlock. And then when I hit uh, when I hit enter on that, it's going to pop up. Oh, it's saying waiting for device. Okay. Technical difficulty. <laughs> That's what all about. <laughs> so what that means is that I got to go to my device manager. Uh, you see this Android here? Yeah. What are you going to update is, the driver? Yeah. So I put the driver over here so we can see it. This is the, uh, it's not on my desktop right now, but I'll just go grab it. It's going to be update driver. Browse my computer. Let me pick. Actually, I'll go ahead and put this on the sender Android. Okay, you see these USB driver, which yeah. I also put. Yeah, I also put. Uh, I'll put this over here so we can see that all. Wait, not yeah, no. Move, like... move, move it a little to the left, just because. <laughs> oh no! Not nah, trying to keep it organized because I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot a better in depth like for my own channel. Um, yeah. But uh, this is where you would get the the driver that I'm just uh, I'm just now about to. Um, yeah, and I'll put a link to that. Download the Google driver. Oh, that's using the R13. Maybe I should do the R13. Oh, it was up here. See, more technical difficulties. All right, and I'm going too fast. Okay, so it looks like the R13 version is the latest. And I'll just go ahead and extract that. I already had it ready. What? Cannot create. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go back to the original. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're, we're gonna uh, drag this one up here. Just use it. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, so let let me pick uh, a, from a list of available drivers. I just say all because I'm gonna click on have disk, browse, <coughs> my desktop, locate it, select it, open. Okay, so there's the USB R13, and we're going to select. And now it is ADB interface. Dude, stop whistling, I'm talking. <laughs> You're there coughing and whistling and stuff. Are you getting bored, buddy? No, I'm having fun, man. <laughs> Android ADB interface. So I say yes, install the Google driver, and now, let me take this off of, uh... so it ran that command, right? Mm -hmm. um, fast boot OEM unlock. And uh, so, let me go back to Skype real quick. So this is the screen that we're getting on, uh, on the phone. It says, do not unlock the bootloader, unlock the bootloader. So I'm basically going to switch to the bottom one and hit the power button. At least it and says do not unlock boot bootloader and unlock bootloader as options rather than just trying to confuse the hell out of you. you know? <laughs> I think, <laughs> you know, it wants you to pick one. It's not just saying, don't do it, do it. Don't, yeah. do it. don't do it, do it. <laughs> well, I think that's don't if somebody's, it. I think that's if somebody's like remotely hacking your device, it'll at least pop up and say, 
<laughs> well, it gave you a whole long list of why not to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do it, but do it. <laughs> you can do it if you wanna. <laughs> You can leave your root behind because your Android don't dance. And if your Android don't dance, oh, because the iPhone ain't no friend of mine. Something like that. Did you write that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me like a certain specified amount of time. (laughs) It took took some type of period of chronological... Um, something or others. I had to plug in the uh, the laptop. It was. I got the G14. No, I don't. I'm getting. It. <laughs> I'm getting it. Heck yeah, bro. Yeah, this camera that you're seeing right now is on the G14, the 2021 G14. Dude, that that laptop doesn't even have a webcam. Okay, so <laughs> why that? While that is uh, is rebooting because it's basically just like. Factory resetting, gonna unlock the mm-hmm. the bootloader. But here we have. Um, now that's just unlocking the bootloader. You haven't like gone to install a ROM or anything, right? You just unlock it, preparing it for a rooting. Yeah, so I'm I'm a uh, as soon as I unlock the bootloader, uh, I'm going to flash a ROM, and that's where uh, this comes in. We have, I'm going to show you guys the, we should make a virtual escape studio or a uh, Wilco solutions ROM. Dude, we should bro. Um, now we're back on the, we're trying to do two things at once, but here's the one plus seven pro. Uh, one of the, one of the good ideas about getting a device that's older is there's a lot more development out for it. And this yeah. one, this one plus seven pro is like a cult favorite. Um, I would probably go with the 9 Pro because uh, what happens is, like, if Android 11 is the last device that came out for it, then... Um, well, it'll probably be supported up to uh, 16. Yeah, so here we have 13 and everything. Um, we have CR Droid. I think that's the one that I'm going to do. Uh, we have Lineage OS. Project of Mixer. Try try lineage. Like if you wanted to just make it a pixel, we could both have this exact same operating system. <laughs> Here's the pixel experience. Uh, Overall, the pixel's not a bad phone. I got the Pixel 6 Pro. I'm digging it. We got Lineage OS. That's like the the mothership. Um, I like CR Droid. We got Bliss ROM. Bliss ROM. Bliss ROM's got a lot of cool features. I think I'll do Bliss ROM because... All right, so do it. You won't do it. You won't do it. Bliss ROM downloads. Won't do it. No, Russ, they're all going to laugh at you. So so we have version uh, 16.4 right here. Let's see see what CR Droid's doing. Their latest release. And then CR Droid's a cool place to like see what devices you might want. If I go to uh, where's their downloads at? Like here's the here's the One Plus Seven Pro, but you could actually just go to their home uh, and see. I like how device. like did you see the promo for that? It said never settle, but they want you to settle on their product. You know, <laughs> like. Don't ever yeah, make they, a decision, but choose us. What is it with all this don't do, do stuff? <laughs> Never settle. But, well, that, yeah, okay. that was their, that was their, uh, their slogan before they, they teamed up with, or before Oppo bought them, and then they settled. But crdroid.net is a good place to probably pick out um, a phone you'd like to develop on. Like, all these are like $100 phones. Asus makes a phone. Got the Motorola's. I, in all the my years of dealing with phones, I didn't even know that Asus made a phone. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I never had one. <laughs> never worked on one. 
like if you wanted to just get a cheap phone to mess around with i think the uh the 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 cheapest phones that can be rooted and messed around with pretty easily is like the the low level Gal galaxy series like the j7 or the a01 yeah no i would not get a galaxy but but right here this one plus 16 you're saying for like cheap just mess around with it kind of crap yeah these one plus six is uh the only other the only uh device that can run windows right now besides the pixel um is the one plus 6t and the one plus six like well, every, there's so much every pixel except for mine oh no no sorry the it's the surface duo android you know how like surface uh microsoft surface came out with their own um yeah yeah now you got that keyboard with it but one plus i'm getting off track here one plus six running running windows windows 10 arm on one plus is that um arm 64 what is it the one plus yeah yes yeah windows arm windows on arm can run on that 8v or but, whatever um, it is okay so i'm gonna probably just go with uh yeah we can go with oops oops <laughs> oops he rooted the phone and now he's alone so cr droid for the oneplus 7 pro you can yeah you can get the you can get 11 12 or 13 which one should we go with um uh, we uh 11 11 11 because yeah. here's well actually if you no never mind i was gonna say because here's the thing android 11 on a lot of devices you were still able to um use the sd as internal storage <clears throat> but they made that harder uh with 12 but it's a rooted phone so it doesn't even matter well what the, the issue with mine is that the uh, pop-up camera stopped working so i have to get uh bliss rom i just remembered or or cr i have to use android 13 because they don't use the official camera app and i can still use my back camera because the like right here if i go back to let's see never settle so terms and conditions let me just get in this real quick yeah you gotta go through the whole new phone process thing you gotta hope you're gonna put host on it well this this rom's about to get erased so but check this out when i tried to load the camera it just picks out parts <laughs> <laughs> can watch some springs and some mods come flying out of the slot well because this is the stock rom i actually get a, a, a warning saying the camera may be damaged please contact customers care for assistance uh when i put the custom like i can't even use the front camera right but when i put the custom rom on there uh android 13 um because android 13 isn't developed for this phone or the stock isn't available for this phone their camera actually still works it's just i can't use the face fronting front part yeah so real quick we're going to go in here and say uh about phone build number 27 times <laughs> i mean seven times five times developer option uh usb adb okay Hello. all right so now that we're on that, we're gonna go grab. Uh, I might, I might try CR Droid. Let's see, download latest version. Yeah, just do one for now. DFH cable A. Cable. What does that say? Download. Here? Premium downloads. You're all about those premium. You must have some type of ROM just stashed on your in one of your many folders. Okay, there we go. Ooh, download manager. Yeah, I do. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I think I think it's the latest one, anyways. For uh, Bliss, let me see. So the 
I know that the camera works in Bliss, so I'm just gonna go with uh, Bliss ROM. And they got pr some pretty cool like features and stuff. But the latest Bliss ROM is twenty is two twenty twenty three. And if I go in here and check, uh, like a couple days ago, man. Okay, Bliss ROM. There we go. And the gaps are included, so I don't have to do like wait one fourteen. Ah, there's a newer one. Okay. I thought you said the latest one was 2 2023. There we go. Now we're getting 16, 17, 22 megabytes a second. Megabits. Not what's, the estimate, what's the estimated time left? One minute. Oh, so it'll be okay. like 30 seconds. <laughs> like in the office, right. it's, he's going to update, I think it's like... Uh, uh, Adobe, uh, no, um, Microsoft, uh, what, I forget which one it was, one of the office suite things. And, uh, he has to do update and he's like, oh, his update will be 10 to 12 minutes. No, it'll just be like five minutes. <laughs> which could be because the estimated time <clears throat> is just based off of if data continues to transfer at this particular speed like the the one that's currently transferring at the moment will take that time but okay so what is what does this uh say on the screen installation in massive <laughs> it says noi noi well in it's order for me to like I, I thought that i click i click there to get the instructions and when i click there i'm like oh oh those are simple instructions <laughs> But it basically says, yeah. it says, bro, you're going to have to do some fancy fast boot stuff. So PayPal, PayPal, payload dumper. You see that payload dumper? Do, 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 do. Okay. So let's put this on one side. Ooh, look at him. He's so cute. Oh, almost done. Okay, see, <clears throat> okay, see this payload dumper? How many threads which, do you have for your downloads? I usually only have four because I don't want to corrupt anything. Anything above four doesn't really. Downloads for Bliss V16.4 guacamole. See, that's the cool thing about like Android people. They're all gamers. Like that's why there's like Kit Kat, Lollipop, and then you got these devs coming up with Blue <laughs> Bliss OS. They labeled it a guacamole. <laughs> oh, the, <clears throat> the the code name for my my device is guacamole. The, the one yeah, plus seven pro. Yeah, the OnePlus 7 Pro is guacamole. Guacamole. And, and the 9 Pro is called Lemonade. <laughs> oh, that's the code name of the phone itself? Yeah, the, the 9 oh, Pro is cool. Lemonade, and the 7 Pro is guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why Android's so awesome. <laughs> like, all the developers are just hardcore gamers. Okay, so we have uh, officially downloaded. Let's go back in here to the downloads folder real quick. So what's going to happen is I'm going to uh, dump that payload. So if I go into Bliss. Here. And... For when, here for when you're done. Uh, hold up. I have hey. a technical, technical. Oh, Whitney Houston. Hold on. Maybe we should check this out instead. I want to dance. Wanna... <laughs> I'm not. Man, if you, if you had to play on that and Ashley uh, started sh uh, dancing on the screen, then never gonna give you up. Never gonna hurt you. It's a Rick roll. <laughs> Almost Rick rolled you, man. All right, calm down, calm down. Like Ooh, Whitney so Houston, is... you press play and it's <laughs> Rick Ashley. Jesus so, Christ. So I'm actually thinking about researching like how much. Uh, does ADHD play a role in technical difficulties? Well, <laughs> role, considering, considering we're 41 minutes and 52 seconds into this, and, we, and you still have not, I think all you did was just unlock the bootloader. You still haven't even flashed the ROM yet. Yeah. I guess I could have had the latest, uh, well, that, that ROM corrupted, so. Didn't you say in Wilco's gadgets that your um, 
system was already set up to show how to do it. Yeah, but I didn't have the latest uh, the latest ROM, and I'm actually going to use this device, so I might as well grab the... We got one minute and 38 seconds. So while I'm till, while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to show you um, platform you, you tools. Can, you can rickroll the audience. So this uh, this payload dumper, there's I, I got really lucky finding this payload dumper because otherwise you have to install like Python, uh, update your Python scripts, uh, do a whole bunch of stuff. Because what this is going to do is it's going to take the the bin file and i drag and drop the bin file in here and this program that i'm double clicking on now is literally going to like extract the boot all the different images that are inside that bin file and put them into this output folder freaking genius man whoever figured this out makes it so much easier to get all the different images because see on this uh these instructions here, we got to get the boot image, we got to get the DTBO image, the ODM image, the system, because going from Android 11 to Android 12 or 13, they do they rewrote everything. They were like from the ground up, uh, they changed the partitioning schemes, the file structure. So you literally have to like manually just type that out. Um, but Did technically, you know that Android Studio? Um, before it was pretty much Java, but now it um, supports Kotlin. No, I did not know that. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's uh, it's kind of cool now with the with that update. I mean, it could be a couple of years, but yeah, I used Kotlin. You don't have to use Java. In you don't. Say, I thought you. I thought you said that. Uh, um, I thought you said that. Um, Skype records my webcam at the same time as screen share, right? It does. It'll show us on the bottom. Okay, so I'm still capturing like what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, that's going to be the main screen. And then we'll be like down below on the right hand side. Can you see so your? Be, yeah, it's going to be like this. So 16 by 9 of your screen capture. And then down where like the task bar would kind of be, there'll be two squares, one here and one here. And it'll be up. <laughs> did you just hold up a top screen did, here? We go from down here to up here. Right. Did you just hold up a 16 by nine napkin? I just 16 by nine. <laughs> just had that ready to. <laughs> yeah, I have a uh, nine by 16 and a 16 by nine. I actually, even if you look, <laughs> I actually have a one to one uh, for Instagram napkin. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to the back to the project. Here we go. So um, what we're working with here is I opened up the Bliss ROM, right? Here we've got Bliss ROM 16.4. This payload bin, I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. Mm -hmm. Or you can just you can just drag and drop it into this uh, folder that says, okay, so I'm clicking dump. I put the payload bin inside this folder. It's uh, almost two gigs. This dump process is going to take because see they're inside this zip i mean it's yeah inside the zip there this rom that i opened up I opened up the rom there uh -huh. are no there are no files there are no bin files so somebody created a dumper gui payload dumper yeah it's delivering the payloads it's like with um not what it, um what's that linux linux distro i use not backtrack Kali Linux. Yeah. A lot of that stuff involves issuing payloads. Over here they have uh installation. Bliss ROM comes with a wide selection of customization options. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can always go to the very bottom and read everything else. But yeah, okay, so we're probably ready for this. Let's go back up to installation. Technically, all you really need to do is flash the boot and then sideload the ROM. It's still processing. 
But there's our boot oh, image. It's delivering like two gigs of uh, two gigs. <laughs> it's delivering two gigs of data. And I'm running this on like a. I don't know if you can see, but I'm running this on like an i an i3. See my little i3 uh, like Intel Nook. That's your desktop laptop. That you... <laughs> oh wow! I didn't even notice that, dude. <laughs> That's my computer, bro. <laughs> That's insane. It's got Thunderbolt 4 on the back, and my th Thunderbolt's like being uh, used as a. Uh, How much RAM does it have? 16 gigs. So that's what I'm saying. Like this, I have and a what, i7. And what, and what processor? Over here, I have the same processor, eighth, eighth generation. I have an eighth gen uh, i7 that runs slower than this because this i3 eighth gen because of the 16 gigs of RAM. Like as soon as we get, and I found, I sent you a link to your laptop uh, to upgrade for like 38 bucks. So you can mm -hmm. have 16 gigs in your laptop. Did the whole operating well, I'm not, system. I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to really hold. I'm going to wait. And then when I get the G, uh, the G14, this is just going to be for word processing and stuff. Well, it's just, just saying 40 yeah, bucks and you can have 16 gigs of RAM. Okay. Yeah. We are finished. We are finished dumping. Hold on. I was just watching the other day. I was just watching Babylon. Uh, it's about movies in the 1920s uh, with Brad Pitt. And they're mm -hmm. trying to shoot this one scene, and like somebody would sneeze, somebody would cough, and they're like the sound guy. <laughs> oh yeah, like, I remember the bad one. Yeah, is when they first like introduce sound to film, and they're like, ah, you gotta land on your mark. It's right under the microphone." But anyways, back to uh, the project. Back to blitz. They're so now, the so now, yeah. So now we have. Let's put this over here, and we'll bring this down. Eh, eh. Yeah, and I click on that very well. I like Windows because then you can like do, and then the website can go right there. Okay, so all all the screens are ready to go. Uh, platform tools. So we are going to type ADB reboot boot loader. My device is rebooting into fast boot mode, and here is where I type. Well, technically, I could probably just copy and paste this, huh? Fast boot, flash boot. Bada bang. Copy. Okay, so now we're gonna drag the boot image, right? I need help with this because I can't. It's hard for me to focus. I always think I'm gonna screw it up. Okay, so we're dragging and dropping. Hit enter. Sending to boot A. And done. Now we're gonna go fast boot flash boot ddbo space bar. Drag and drop. <coughs> Mr. Script Kitty over here. And then we pasted that. Now we're gonna go fast boot flash ODM, drag and drop system, fast boot flash system. So that that ODM is taking a couple seconds. Whatever you do, don't unplug your phone like I did on my my nine pro. <laughs> yeah, I was literally uh oh. Hey, Odin, command failed. I think what happened is fast boot flash. What we're gonna do is reboot to uh I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. So I'm just gonna reboot my phone real quick. Let me take it off here. So we're gonna go ADB reboot recovery. So we're gonna go into recovery. Uh, hit ADB sideload. Oh, there's no device. What are you talking about? Oh, and fast boot. <coughs> fast. Fast boot. Reboot recovery. Okay, so. Now my device is going into recovery mode. Okay, see the recovery mode? Yep, it yep. says, so we're going to do a factory reset, format data. Because really, all you have to do is just put the boot image on there. That's what this recovery is a part of, the boot image. And then, and if this doesn't work, I can always do um, ADP, uh, no, fast boot boot, can't load Android. Okay, so let's go back, and we're going to go to... Uh, apply update, apply from ADB, and then go back to screen sharing. Open up your console. And we're going to say ADB devices, and it should say uh, side load. See that side load right there? Yeah. With the side load, I can now um, just go ADB side load and then drag and drop that. That's the cool thing about the PowerShells. So here we're going to go grab that from downloads. OK, 
Okay, see how I'm grabbing this whole ROM, and I'm just going to sideload the whole ROM. Yep. So we're at 1%, 2%. Okay, now you can uh, entertain us while that's processing. Such blazing fast speeds. <clears throat> Why don't you go ahead and put um, Rick Astley on? <laughs> What's that? Never going to give you a... Never gonna... <laughs> I don't know, man. Put it on there. You should... Uh... Why not? Who is it by? Rick Astley, man. A blatant Rick rolling. Nothing sneaky about it. A little played out, but still entertaining. Can't hear it on this end, though. <laughs> oh, really? No. <laughs> that was it. All right, there we go. Alternative Rick roll. <laughs> Here, you want some of this fresh, fresh uh, fruit rush blue raspberry? It, it's like I said, it's just pure blue dye, man. Yummy. You know how, um, wait, hold on. Before I ask the question, let me look something up. Peppermint, ginger, slippery elm. Yeah, slippery elm. Marshmallow root. It's good for coughing. <clears throat> hey, you know, um, you know how some of those months have like 31 days and some months have 30? Yeah. How many have 28? One. All of them, dumbass. <laughs> hey man, why you cut? Why you cussing? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Let's an see. answer like that deserves some type of ex expletive. <laughs> it's a bad word. When people are being slangy or folksy, you hear them. You hear this word a lot. Get off your ass. Watch your ass. Why are you such an ass? <laughs> Get your ass in here. <laughs> Though it isn't one of the very worst swear words, it is considered harsher than butt. <laughs> and lots of people consider ass to be an inappropriate word. But if you Google uh, cussing is a sign of intelligence, it says. <laughs> That's only ways. because today's society, especially the woke <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> like any, any flaw is considered like genius. You know? <laughs> Swearing may be a sign of honesty. Profanity improves pain tolerance. Cussing is a sign of creativity. Throwing explosives instead of punches. That's just a bogus excuse <laughs> for society to be uncultured. Right? Man, they're even talking about how the woke, the vo I was watching a TikTok about how. They're not coming after people like me and you. They're coming after those that are that think they're woke. Like yeah, they're going after each other. Basically, if you apologize, you're the you're going to be the uh, the next target. If you're going to say something, okay. mean it. Don't back down. Say no, I said it, and I don't regret it. Well, well, what this, what, this uh, and out. Well, yeah. well, what this researcher was showing on TikTok is that uh, a researcher on TikTok. <laughs> he was showing that. Uh, the woke movement is actually to depopulate because there will be no second generation g transgender. They can't have kids. There will be no second generation uh, non-body shaming or it's okay to be uh, overweight or obese and die. There is no – there's like seven different things. And now in Canada, they're so woke that – oh, this woke movement is allowing assisted suicide to the point where if you have a little depression, if you're feeling suicidal, you just fill out a mm -hmm. form. And then the doctors will kill you. It's like, yeah. of course they would push the woke agenda. Because the woke agenda is basically getting rid of everyone who's woke. <laughs> Does that make any sense? <laughs> like, if, you're woke, coming from, man. if you're woke, you're not going to survive. <laughs> you're going to be sick. You're going to be deluded, delusional. Okay, so we are finished. Yeah. And we are going to do Yep. So now we go and we just reboot this puppy. Let's go and it shall up. be the... The, the OS of the Bliss variety. Here we go. Okay. Reboot. I don't know. Let's see. Cross your technical difficulty fingers. I can see the camera hat in your screen. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. I've been recording this on my on my uh, cell phone, too. I can see you. I can see that beautiful person on the screen. Oh, look at that boot image. 
Next thing it's going to blast out Verizon. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> a Walmart boot screen. <laughs> Suddenly your uh-huh. bootloader shows like a um, like a, a Samsung Galaxy A01, like right across it. It's like, wait, but this is the OnePlus. Not anymore, dumbass. <laughs> so while uh, that is... is well, that's booting. Um, remember that folder with the boot image in it? Did it freeze? Is this thing actually booting? It's going to take a minute. It's the first time. Can you get me a cup of coffee? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Welcome to your Pixel. Oh, wow. It's I not a Pixel. Say. Yeah, it's a Pixel, man. It's a <laughs> Pixel. Connect to Wi-Fi. Here, I'll hotspot for you. Mine will... <laughs> Polite OS. Everyone, keep track of the password he's putting because we can get his IP address. <laughs> Both local and external. He's keeping I'll his dreams in, I'll alive. I'll put it in the description below. <laughs> oh, that wasn't the password. The password is Polite Cello Zero. 49 authenticating authenticating, authenticating. wait polite you need to put gboard on there gboard yeah man what is up with this is it case sensitive have you used alphanumeric only perhaps yeah, you go. have a special character <clears throat> that's definitely the pixel load that's why I want to make a custom ROM with you because we can basically pick and choose whatever parts of Android out there and be like, oh, let's get the LG this and let's get the Samsung that. And let's get the you know Pixel this. What we need to do is the same thing we uh, did to set up um, multiple distros of Windows. We need to have some type of like SD, some type of way to sideload where as you boot the phone, you can just pick which distro you want, select it, and it auto auto flashes. You know what I mean? Where you could have like Bliss OS, you could have Lineage OS, it shows it on the screen, you just select one, boom, done. Okay, here we go. Here it is Bliss OS. And it only took one hour and five minutes. No, it didn't. We were talking that whole time. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to go to about, we're running Android 13. The first app you could install on that is VirtualScape. That's a good idea. Let's go do that. Just to, well, how am I going to find it, though? <clears throat> it's in the Play Store. You have to sign in oh. for the first. It's brand That's new. Yeah. Ooh, snap. You need to tell it to not do that. Okay, virtual. Good thing I know your password. Virtual skate. <laughs> I signed in with your password. You're like, hold up. Hold up. Stop yeah. the tape. <laughs> I, ch- I changed mine all the time. <laughs> it's not Apple 321? No, that's that's your universal password. <laughs> Johnny Wilco. Sh- email.com. Apple 321. That's because I share everything. Okay, I'm typing in my secret password. I'm watching. Really? No. It, no. It's just, it's just it's just it's just out of screen. Now it's not. Now it is. <laughs> I can't look. I gotta put my hat up. <laughs> you gotta look down. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta put my hat to the side. There we go. Now it's clearly visible. Oh man. Now it's not. Come on. It's just Apple three two one. No, it's not, dude. My Wilco has everything attached to it. I had to put a lock. It's like my my password is something like don't don't we get coffee at the same coffee shop eighty seven twenty two pound <laughs> don't you love Starbucks coffee <laughs> at <laughs> password is hey mom and dad haven't seen you in a while I'm thinking about coming <laughs> up to your house for Christmas is it all right if I bring my drunk friend with me if not that's cool anyways I'll see you later hashtag Thank Hashtag you. exclamation point one. <laughs> okay. Virtual scape one word. And it's new on the Play Store, so you'll have to scroll all the way to the bottom. It's not too far down. But like just keep going. 
It's going to be the last one. It was just added yesterday, so it doesn't have any uh, reviews or anything. Like, seriously, just fast. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Because it by default, it goes by uh, rank uh, rating. I got to work my way up. Did you spell it with one uh, one word? Don't virtual. Think I, don't think I... How do you spell for V I R T U A L? V I R T U A L S C A P E. And it's going to be on the bottom. All one word? Yeah. Do, 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 yeah, it's on the bottom. I'm telling you. I've had um a couple friends that install it. That's the very bottom. V I R T U A L S C A P E. No, it's not. You're wrong, dude. I'm telling you. Look. Play store. Okay. Virtual skate play store. Virtual skate amp. Okay. And here we are. Search. Virtual skate studio. That's not the uh do you have a link to it on your website? Yeah. It's uh there's a big button on the website. In fact, why didn't I even think of that? <clears throat> yeah, virtualescapestudio.com. You can just download it from there. Uh the but there's a button on the top of the screen. Why didn't I think of that? Huh? Where? 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 Right there. Look here to download our app. Look at that. Bam. Look First that. app on the Bliss OS flash. All right, all right. There it is. It's awesome. Do you think? Hey. Oh, look at that one. So clean, so crisp. I'm Get a loud Never. Yeah. Ooh, we got some shiny icons. Oh yeah, I got some new designs going on. Okay, before we before we take up two more time, you got to edit this video down. Uh, system developer. I'm just gonna root it real quick, and then we're done. Isn't okay. it already rooted? Didn't you put a rooted ROM on there? No, ROMs don't come rooted. Um. <laughs> okay, US debugging is on. We are sharing the screen. Yeah, I got like 15 minutes and I gotta leave. Okay, so. Remember that platform um, payload dumper? Inside there, we have the boot image. All we have to do is say copy. Uh, go to, uh, I gotta go check the device manager real quick. Something is up with the, Ooh. It's, it's not showing my phone. <clears throat> there might be a user issue. Did you get that checked out? Okay. Update driver. Or maybe I gotta like unplug it and plug it back. Oh yeah. Okay. So. You have to try says, turning it off and back on again. <laughs> well, you know how, like, in Android 13, you got to tell it, okay, now we have the GM11. We go in here, we go to downloads, boom, drop the boot image, correct? So that, that's where you get it. You get it from the payload dumper. All you need is the boot image. So we're going to go back to stop screen sharing. Okay, so real quick. The first app I should have downloaded was Magisk. Okay, so we go to GitHub, scroll down to a little bit of release, twenty-five point two. Well, Mag Magisk is going to patch that uh, that boot image, and then we're going to flash it in fast boot, and that's how you root. Simple as that. So we say, see how we have install. Click on install. It says select and patch a file. There's the boot image. We select the boot image. It says let's go. Copying boot image cache, unpacking boot image, checking RAM disk status, stock boot image detected, patching RAM disk, repacking <coughs> boot image, all done. 
Okay, so then we go back to <laughs> then we go back to screen sharing because we need to get that patched. Uh, so I'm gonna unplug and plug back in. Can you see this? Can you see what's going on over here, buddy? You gotta go uh, charging this device. Uh, I'll just look at that window. Okay. I'm running yeah. out of time. I'm, ru I'm running out of time, man. I gotta go. Gotta I'm go. Watching. I'm watching. Okay. It's, it's, it's right there. Okay, you see the magic patched image? Mm -hmm. You see it, dude? Yeah, it's right okay, there. I'm, copy <laughs> I'm copying it to my... It's right there in front of me. Dude, dude, I gotta go, bro. I gotta right, go. I'm watching. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the magic patched image is right here. We're gonna go back into... Uh, the reason I want to show you all this is because I really want you on board with a, a rooted phone, if you see how simple it is. So well, I mean, I've rooted phones before. I mean, like, not, not like, recently. Not like You're this. right. Not recently. Yeah. yeah. Not in the last couple of years. Yeah. yeah. Just grabbing the boot image. Like that all makes sense to you, right? We just grab the yeah. boot image. We say ADB uh, reboot um, uh, bootloader. Enter. Now my phone is rebooting into bootloader. And so then all I do to patch that is go fast boot. But well, first, first let me do this. Uh, just, just to show you, fast boot devices, right? Yep. There's my fast boot. Fast boot, flash boot, drag and drop boot image that's been patched by Magisk, and hit enter. Ending boot to B. Now there's one more thing that I need to do because I don't, when you actually flash this, it's all, it all goes to just one side of like, we're in, we're in boot B. So there's actually something called copy. So there's a, there's a zip that will copy all the partitions from one side to the other. So it'll be on both sides. So we're going to go fast boot, flash boot. And then you'll have a dual booted phone, man. Actually, you're not supposed to do that. Now you're supposed to go, let me go into recovery real quick. Recovery mode. So it's gonna it's gonna flash everything from uh, active partition B to A, so it'll be on both sides. So right now you can't see, but I'm going to apply update from recovery, apply from ADB, ADB devices. See how I'm in side load. Now I'm going to go ADB side load, drag and drop this copy partitions. It's gonna copy everything from uh, one side of the. Oh. You spelled that wrong. You did SID load. <laughs> good catch, good catch. There we go. Signature verification failed. Install anyways. Um, so real quick, I'm going to take this off of uh, screen sharing. Okay, you see where it's saying install anyways? I hit yes. Down here at the bottom, it's basically copying every partition from one active slot to the inactive slot. Because there could be issues with the modem, issues with it not booting correctly or apps not installing correctly because the way that the new um, androids work is that um, when you download an OTA it downloads it to the other active partition and then switches over to that and starts running off of that that new active partition does that make sense like like an mm -hmm. OTA like say if you're going from 12 to 13 13 gets downloaded in the other side and then it just switches over to that side so now we have to use those features to to do custom roaming. But here we are, okay. And then we go back. Oh, a touch screen started working. Sometimes touch screen only works from certain slots. Okay, so now we're gonna go reboot system now. And we should boot up into a fully rooted Android 13 Bliss OS. And actually this Bliss ROM uh, runs on PCs too. If you ever want to like run Android natively on your system, you can use Bliss ROMs, Bliss OS. All right, I'm gonna real quick. I'm gonna verify this, and then uh, I gotta get going to my Valentine Easter dinner, dude. It's February. What are you doing having Easter dinner? It's actually Valentine's dinner. Oh, Valentine's. Still a little late. All right. <clears throat> Install root checker. So we load Magisk. I want to paint my face like that. 
and go to a Valentine's Day dinner. You fit in. No, nope, you just hard bricked it. Okay, here at the top it says yes. A yes magic is installed. And we can literally go to um, turn off the toast notifications and then turn on Zygisk so I can like configure the de de deny list. This is something I'll, I'll show in another video. But in order to pass like um, safety net, you got to go in here to the Google apps and select which things that you want to hide from root. But yep, that's basically it, man. I appreciate everybody watching. How long did that last? An hour and 25 minutes? We'll, we'll cut it down. <clears throat> um, one hour, 21 minutes and 35 seconds, but it's all going to get. I don't know, man. Like the whole point is to kind of just put it up raw, dude. You should, bro. You should. The whole thing. They deserve the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Hey, let's see it. Come on, man. You know, tip forward. Do that what? Tip forward. Tip forward? Your headpiece. What do you mean? The horseshoe. Not... Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to, I, want I, I want to comply, but what is it? <laughs> Why don't you take your hat off, too? No, I have not. I don't know. <laughs> All right, thanks for everybody for watching. This has always yeah, been our great. Uh, thank thank you for uh, showing showing your yeah. skill set there, my hombre, as it were, so to speak. Um, it's always been our dream to upload videos and to create content for everybody. So in the future, you know, tune back in, check us out. You got it. We also do camping, survival, everything. Yeah, you know, when when there's camping and survival going on. But yeah, so that'll be it for. Uh, this episode of Technical Difficulties. And we will catch you all on the flip side. Thank you for on watching. The flip side.